Hello reception and welcome to our lesson for today. Today we are going to be looking at music, okay? So we're going to be doing our expressive arts and design. Now, during this week, because our theme is all about the seaside and going to the beach, we have been looking at buckets. So we were looking at a story this week called Billy's Bucket. So I have a bucket here so that we can do some bucket drumming. So I would like you at home to find yourself a bucket. Now you might have a big bucket like this, you might have a smaller kind of bucket like this, you might have something even more different like a mop bucket. Now also I want you to look in your house to see if you can find something to play your bucket drum with. Now a spoon is fine, can be a metal spoon or a plastic one, or maybe you have a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon would be really amazing. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to practice some beats and I'm going to ask you to either play along with me or play after me. So the first thing you need to do with your bucket is turn it upside down. And now this part becomes the top of your drum, okay? And then we're going to play some different tunes on different parts. So sometimes we might use the side of the drum. Sometimes we might use the top of our bucket drum. Okay, because they make some different kinds of sounds. Okay, right now. So we'll just practice. I want you just to listen first. So I'm holding my bucket drum and it makes a different sound to when I have it on the floor. So listen carefully. And then if I hit the side, the noise is different. Listen again. Can you hear the difference? Now you might want to turn your wooden spoon or your metal spoon or your plastic spoon around and use this end because this is much more like a drum stick. And then you can tap your drum and hear the different sounds. Now, I'm going to place it onto the foot. Right, so now that we are on the floor, we are going to use the bucket drum in a different way. So, I'm going to ask you to watch first and help me to count as we count the number of times that I hit the bucket drum. Help me to count. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now, maybe you can try to hit your bucket drum four times too. Now, this time I'm going to hit the drum, but I'm not going to count. But you can count for yourself. That was a little bit faster. Have a try. Now, I'm going to hit the drum, but this time I might hit it here on the top or I might hit it here on the side. So listening carefully and watching to see again whether I use the top or the bottom of my spoon. Your turn. Oh, now remember, I hope that you have counted how many times I tapped my bucket drum and also where I tapped it. Right, now I have my bucket drum on the floor and I'm going to play a rhythm and I would like you to copy this after me. So my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. Did you notice that on the first time I used the bottom of my wooden spoon and the second time I used the top of my wooden spoon. Now watch again, I'm going to mix the way that I use it. So look this time to see well, whether I hit the top or whether I hit the side 
or both. Hmm, did you notice? Now see if you can copy. Well done. Now, my turn again. Now, ready for a longer one. So, my turn first. Your turn now. Now. Oh, that was a quick one. Try that again. Oh, and you might have noticed a slight pause on that one. So listen again. Great listening. Excellent work, guys. Now we're going to do one time my turn, one time your turn. Your turn. My turn. Now I'm going to use my metal spoon. And with my metal spoon, I'm going to do the same thing, but you might hear a change in sound. Pause the video and see if you can copy that rhythm. Right, now we're going to do my turn, your turn. Your turn. And now my turn. Great listening. I hope that you had great fun bucket drumming and following on from a rhythm. Now, it will be a good idea if you can copy my sounds but onto your drum so i'm going to clap for you and then i want you to do the same on your drum after okay so my turn first now you should have tapped that rhythm onto your drum now try this one Excellent. Now, if you paused after each one, you will be able to practice that on there. Now, the, your mum or dad or whoever is helping you can also tap out a rhythm and maybe you could have a bucket drum each. So maybe mum or dad can have one like this and maybe you have a different one, a smaller one or a larger one like this. And maybe mum is using a metal spoon. maybe you are using this so whichever you want to use now if you don't have a book bucket like a bucket that I showed you or a mop bucket or a small bucket like this you can use one of those um, yogurt pots as a bucket you can also use a bowl for your bucket drum because that will still work you can hear that you get a different sound from different shapes, okay? You might have, and also from different materials. Now, here's another one that you might like to use. This is also a bucket, but this is just a different shaped bucket, okay? So I'll turn that upside down and just be careful of the handle. That makes a really good sound. So if you wanted to copy this one, I'll give you a chance. You can pause after each rhythm. So here, my turn first and then you. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Excellent work.
And remember what I said, you can still use the top or the bottom of your stick to give you a different sound to your drumstick. Okay, so your spoon will give you a different sound. Well done. If you don't have any of these kinds of buckets, maybe in your house, you have a little tea set that you have been playing with. This would also, so I've taken a pot from one of our tea sets in school, this will also make a great drum. So if you want to, you can also have all of these together and make yourself a drum kit. And if you use it as a drum kit, maybe you can ask mum or dad just to close their eyes and guess which pot you are playing. So here's the one from the tea set. Here's my very big bucket here. Here's my rectangular bucket here. There's my small bucket. And here's my bowl. Hmm, listen carefully. I wonder if you can guess which one this is. Hmm, listen again. That's right, it's the big blue bucket. Let's have one more listen. Oh, it sounds quite similar. One more listen. Have a think. Well done if you guessed the green bucket. Oh, let's just give you a challenge now. Hmm. If you guessed the yellow tea set pot, you were correct. So as you can see, there are so many different ones that you can use for your bucket drumming. Maybe you could sing along. So have a great time with your bucket drumming. And enjoy playing whatever you do, whatever sounds and whatever rhythms you make. I hope you enjoy yourselves and you take care of each other. And I will see you very soon. Bye reception.